shore up the emergency fund for small businesses and expand nationwide coronavirus testing. NBC's Tracy Potts joining us now with the latest out of D.C. Uh, Tracy, we're hearing that negotiations could wrap up today. Right, Corey. In fact, the Treasury Secretary says uh, they could wrap up negotiations. The Senate could vote today. The House could vote tomorrow. And then President Trump could sign off on this and those small business loans could get started again on Wednesday. That's the ambitious plan. They do have $250 billion in to replenish that Paycheck Protection Program, the small business fund that's giving out loans so these businesses can pay their workers. But it would also include some of the things that Democrats wanted, namely money set aside for minority businesses and for rural businesses, plus for public health, and $25 billion for testing, which the president has insisted is up to the states. We're continuing to negotiate with the Democrats to get our great workers and small businesses all over the country taken care of. I think we, uh, we're getting close to a deal. He hasn't lifted a finger. He could have told Mitch McConnell there had to be money for cities and localities in this stimulus that's being debated right now. And the president literally walked away from his obligation. There have been protests all over the country that we've seen, especially in the last few days, uh, people who are worried about getting back to work. Uh, but our latest poll shows that 58 percent think it's too soon to start loosening uh, restrictions and putting people back in the public. 32 percent think it's taking too long and could really hurt the economy. Corey? Yeah, this latest relief package couldn't come fast enough. Tracy, thank you.